better run, man. Life's a pain, but you got me. Yeah, life's a pain, but I got you. Hey, what's up, Parasites? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And we are going to check out this new Venom Street Bike set from LEGO, set number 30679. Because we don't have a ton of Venom news right now. And since I'm kind of behind on the comics, I'm waiting for some of them to come out and trade so we can talk about them. I figured, you know what? This is something. It's I can make content out of it, and we can just talk about Venom in general while we're building it. So without further ado, let's tear this open, and let's build this awesome street bike. All right, and here is our pieces, all there, nice. And it's kind of cool, you know, it's uh, some people might be like, oh, really, you know, Venom on a motorcycle? But hey, Eddie Brock drives a motorcycle. So I wish we got an Eddie Brock figure with this. That would have been kind of cool with like Venom pieces that you could have put on them or, you know, the Venom mask you could have switched out or something or put an Eddie Brock head on here. That would have been really cool. But uh, you know what? I'll take what I can get when it comes to Venom and... Uh, yeah, and, and having a nice little set here with the character is really cool. Not that I don't have enough, you know, Venom minifigures as it is, and they're all pretty much the same, but it's still cool. I can't say no to the guy. You know, I just love him too much. <laughs> so for those of you out there who collect Venom things, this is $4.99, and you can find this at, or at least I found it at my local Target, and it was just random that I saw it. I heard it was coming out. I saw someone, you know, post a picture of it a while ago, and... I don't know, I feel like I'm always the last to see these things in person. So if this did come out, you know, in the last like two months, I literally just found it. I, I've never seen it at our Target before. And usually poly bags are on an end cap at our Target and they're gone pretty quickly. Like they're out there and I'll see them once. And then the next time I come back to that Target a few days later, um, it's gone. You know, whatever the poly bag is. So they tend to sell them really quickly. So I'm glad I was ended up showing up on a day where they had these. And there was only a couple left when I saw it. So, yeah, I was like, all right, well, I better just grab one just in case, in case there's no Venom movie news. So I waited a week before opening this, and I'm like, okay, yeah, uh, there's no Venom movie news, so let's dive into this. So, yeah, I still see a lot of Venom merch out there, which is great. I just, you know, I sold my collection, so I haven't really bought that stuff. And I didn't see the point of making, like, videos on stuff I don't have physically in hand. So I'm glad I saw this and that it was five bucks. And I'm like, yeah, this this won't take up too much space. And I have a little, you know, Moon Knight Lego set that I made with some of the Indiana Jones pieces from from the recent movie. And uh, and I'm like, oh, I'll just put Venom with that. Uh, and why not? Because uh, I just like the character and it'll be cool to have him represented on my shelf. I have a, another Venom that's in like a mech, too, that you guys saw. We made that video a while ago. So it's not really like I'm short on Venom Lego, but uh, it is cool to you know, see something like a little poly bag. They've made some cool poly bags over the years too with Venom. There was one where it was like just the symbiote and it was just like a bunch of tentacles. It looked really weird. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm surprised that uh, that Lego did that. It's, it seems very strange <laughs> for them to do, but uh, but they did it. And, and uh, I never saw that in person anywhere. Um, I think I saw it online and I thought about buying it and I ended up passing on it. But uh, in the end, I was like, yeah, it's, it's good. I don't need like a hundred Venom Legos, especially when I'm, you know, was purging stuff at the time and not, you know, no longer collecting. So, um, and big shout out to Lonely Symbiote who, uh, her and Sean who bought a lot of the, the Venom stuff that I own, uh, pretty much all of it. And so I know all that stuff went to a good home. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for helping because that money went to help with Ace, uh, near the end there. And, and, uh, so I'm very thankful. Uh, absolutely. So yeah, there's not a lot of Venom movie news right now, obviously, like uh, it's kind of a bummer, you know, we're, you know, about five months away from the movie coming out and we haven't really seen anything on the film, um, you know, not even a teaser trailer, but I heard that the, we might get one at some point in the near future. Obviously, I mean, it time kind of dictates we would, so it's, I'm not really like, uh, you know, give, breaking any walls there or, or telling you anything you might not know. Um, yeah, it's, you know, I'm so I'm hoping that we do get one sooner than later, and that way we have something to talk about, because as of right now, you know, that movie was very hush-hush. There's a lot of rumors about the movie of what the story could be, but we never really got anything concrete, and I never saw any evidence of any to back up any of the rumors, except one. I saw one thing that I thought could back up one of the rumors, but again, I'd, I don't know. It's, it's out of context. I was, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It could back up that rumor, 
or it just could be a coincidence uh, of some kind. So I figured, well, we'll just wait and see. You know, we'll find out, I'm sure, soon enough. Uh, at least get a little bit more on the film. Maybe some more casting news. You know, anything would be good. So until then, I'll try to find stuff like this. Or like I said, now I think the Carnage trade came out, the first one. So I can find some comics to read and, you know, we can make some, some videos again. So we will, for sure. And I know there's still people talking and arguing every day on Twitter and other places or X about the Insomniac Venom and everything. And obviously I said my opinion on that version of Venom in my review of the game. And if you haven't seen that, you know, if you want to check it out, feel free. I go into kind of my thoughts on Venom in that universe. And that Venom is going to show up, I think, in one of the comic books. I think Christos Gage is doing like a short story or something of that Venom in a yet another upcoming like Venomverse multiverse comic book, even though they did the death of the Venomverse. It's like, yeah, of course they titled a thing like that for gimmicky purposes. And even though Sandoval was the artist on that and, and Cullen Bunn was the writer, I really did not like that book at all. Not even a little bit. And that's really frustrating because I think those two guys are talented. So I was really upset that I ended up not liking that story at all. It's real, real bummer for sure. But what did you guys think of Death of Venomverse? I know we kind of had episodes on it. We talked about it. But, you know, this consider this episode a kind of a clean slate. Just talking while building a Lego set. Let me know what you thought of Death of Venomverse. Are you excited for more Venomverse stuff? I, like, I'm personally not. I don't know how much of that I'll cover. Um, I will get into some Deadpool Venom crossover soon because the Deadpool movie's coming out. So we can wrap up all the times Deadpool has interacted with symbiotes. There's a couple stories left, you know, a manga and a couple other things that we haven't talked about. So, and a one shot where he fights Dylan. So we'll get into all that closer to when the, the Deadpool movie comes out. So we have Deadpool Venom content and, and hopefully soon we'll have Venom Venom content and other media like, uh, like the movie, obviously. And, you know, I, I know there's rumors going around about possible Carnage DLC for the Insomniac game. And I kind of actually liked that part of the game, that little side story. So we'll see what they announce. And if it's something that does tie into, you know, Venom in that way, I will definitely be there to check it out with you. You know, are you excited for the Venom War comic book that's coming out? Uh, obviously, there's a crossover with Carnage right now. And we're going to talk about that. Once that ends, I'll, you know, I have... All the issues and I'll review them all at the end of the story and then we'll get ready for Venom War which will be something that I'll talk about most likely when it's completed. I don't know if I'll go issue to issue on that one um, but I will talk about it once it's completed and uh, and we'll and we'll give our thoughts and dive into it and see what you guys think and then after Venom War you know trades of Venom and, and stories of Venom and comics I will probably stop at that point because once the third movie comes out in October, my plan is to start wrapping up the show at that point. And I know that's heartbreaking news to a lot of people, but I've just, uh, I don't know, like I, I, I'm just in a place now where I need to, it's getting harder to, to do things for me and uh, in balance now, you know, I have alters that, that are branching out and wanting to do their own things too. And just making time for stuff has been hard. And so when I finally do get time, I'm like, it almost feels like a chore instead of fun. Cause I'm like, Oh my God, I got to make these videos and I got to edit them and I got to get them done before my four or five hours is up, you know, before we switch again. And it's, it's a lot sometimes. And it's, uh, and so just for that reason, I'm like, yeah, I have to do better about, you know, balancing things. And, and that means I have to give up stuff, you know, that I, I love doing. But I also think, you know, with this being Tom's last dance, you know, Venom 3, The Last Dance, I kind of feel like it's also probably time, you know, like it, we started this show because of Tom. So if he's leaving the character, it makes sense to kind of bookend the show. So we'll see. We'll get there. We'll, you know, we'll worry about that much later. We got the rest of the year to make videos because I'll follow the movie coming out. I'll follow, you know, I'll give my review of the movie, obviously. Maybe we'll have some guests on and we'll do a discussion of all three movies. And then obviously we'll wait for the Blu-ray to come out around Christmas and we'll you know, do a, a video on that too. So, and any special features that are on there. So for me, I, I, you know, we're not done, you know, completely with Venom. Uh, there's still more stuff to get into and, uh, and we will for sure. And you guys know how these things work. Like I've shown them off in other videos where you, you just press this button 
and it shoots right at the camera. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. This, uh, this bike actually came out neat and it's got a nice there seat for Venom and then boom, look at that. Very, very cool. Yeah, so let me know what you think of Venom here. I think he looks really cool. I think the bike is awesome. For five bucks, you cannot go wrong. I, I gotta say, if you're starting a, a collection of Lego Venoms on Spider-Man characters, or if you're adding on to it, I mean, even though it's the same minifigure, it's a cool little build. And for five bucks, I don't think you can go wrong. I think it's really, really neat. So yeah, share your thoughts down below. And then of the other stuff we talked about and hinted at, you know, the Venom War and upcoming comics and movie stuff, like I'd love to hear all your thoughts. It's been a while. So let's catch up down in the comment section and I'll have more Venom vlog episodes for you very soon. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.